Hey there, welcome to the Lily Knits YouTube channel. My name is Alnar and I'm the creator behind Lily Knits. And this is where I post videos to help you guys with my free patterns, which you can find on the Lily Knits website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the stitch pattern used in the Rumi Baby Blanket. You can get this pattern for free from www.lilyknits.com, where I have posted the row by row instructions as well as a colorful stitch chart. I named this blanket after my adorable sweet nephew Rumi. It was my gift to him when he was born and so it's a really special pattern to me. I hope that you enjoy making this blanket and gifting it to a special baby as much as I did. Before we get started, I'd like to ask that if you enjoy my free patterns and tutorials that you consider supporting me and the Lily Knits website by visiting the Lily Knits Ravelry or Etsy stores and purchasing one of my patterns for sale. Every pattern that I create is designed to be not only beautiful but also fun and easy to follow. And by purchasing one of my patterns, you enable me to continue to provide inspiration and value to you guys through my free patterns and tips on the website. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we begin this stitch by chaining a multiple of four plus two. So I'm assuming that you already know how to make a slip knot and chain and do the basic crochet, crochet stitches. So I'm not gonna teach that stuff over again. So I'm gonna chain a multiple of four plus two. So let's do 16 plus two, which is 18. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So that's 16, 17, and 18. So that's my beginning chain of four plus two. Now that we have our foundation chain, we can get started on row one. So for row one, the first step is to work three double crochets in the sixth chain from the hook. So I'm going to count six chains down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is our sixth chain down. And I'm going to work three double crochets into the sixth chain from the hook. I like to work into the top part of the chain. So that's this like bump on the top but um, some people work it into the side as well. So it's up to you. It's basically just a matter of preference. So I work my three double crochets into the top of that, or into that sixth chain from the hook. And then this is what it looks like. And then the next step is, a, is, is um, to chain one, and this is what we're gonna repeat till the end of the row. So we chain one, and then we skip the next three chains and work three double crochets in the following chain. So we skip one, two, three, and then we work three double crochets into the next chain. There's one, two, and three. And so this is what it's starting to look like. So we wanna continue this pattern all the way until we're at the very last stitch. And when we get to our last stitch, it'll still, it'll, um, it'll still be skipping three and then uh, working into the next one. But instead of three, we're gonna work just two uh, uh, double crochets into our last stitch. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll finish this row off. So we chain one and then skip three. One, two, three. Work three double crochets into the next stitch. and then chain one for our next repeat, but you can see we're at the end of our row now. So instead of, um, so we skip these three, one, two, three, and instead of working three double crochets into our last chain, we just work two. And 
and then we chain two and we turn our work. So this is what it looks like at the beginning of row two. Pretty simple so far. Okay, so we're at the beginning of row two and we're gonna get started. So the first step for row two is to double crochet in the next chain one space. So we'll do our double crochet in the next chain one space. So remember the chains we made from the previous row uh, in between our three double crochets? That's what the chain one space is. So you don't actually have to crochet like into the stitch, you can just crochet into the space that it made. So you work a double crochet into the space. And then the next part is pretty much the trickiest part uh, of this pattern. And it says to work a triple crochet or treble crochet in the second of the skip chains from the foundation chain. So what that means is we had skipped three chains right here in our foundation chain. So it, we want to create, um, but we want to uh, work our triple crochet into the middle of those chains. So that would be this guy right here. So see you have one, two, three. So this is the second one, the middle one. So we put our yarn around our hook twice for a treble crochet and we insert our hook into the stitch and we work a treble crochet. So it looks like that. So it's kind of pulling on the chain. And then we work a double crochet in that same uh, chain one space. So we work a double crochet and that kind of just secures it there. And there we go. So we chain one and then we repeat until the end of the row. So again, I'll show you what I did in the next one. So we work a double crochet in the next chain one space. And then triple crochet in the second skipped chain from the foundation chain. So that's this guy right here. The first row is tricky just cause you're you don't have too much to work with yet, but it gets much easier as you build your pattern and it falls down nicely. So I've done my triple crochet here and then finish off with a double crochet in the same chain one space, like so, and then chain one. And then we go to our next chain one space and work a double crochet and then a triple crochet in the skipped, the second skip chain from the foundation chain. And then a double crochet in the same chain one space and chain one. So now we're at the end of row two. So the instructions for the end of row two are to work two double crochets in the top of the turning chain and then chain two and turn. So what that means is uh, you don't actually have to do it in the stitch again. I just do it in the space just because it's easier and it doesn't really matter. So I work two double crochets at the end there. Like so and chain two and turn. So this is what it looks like at the beginning of row three or at the end of row two. Now we're on row three and row three is what we're going to repeat for this pattern for the remainder of the pattern, which is why it is so easy. You don't even have to think once you get this row down, you just keep going and going and then you know, you can change out colors every so often like I did in the roomy blanket or you can just keep going in a solid color if you want. Um, whatever you feel like doing. So for row three, it says to work a double crochet in the next chain one space. So let's do that. So that's the chain one space right here from the row below. So we've worked one double crochet 
and then we want to work a treble crochet or triple crochet in the second skipped stitch from the row below. So what that means is these three double crochets from the row below. We want to work our treble crochet in the middle one. So that's this guy right here. So we put our yarn over our hook twice and work a treble crochet right into that stitch. Uh oh, it's stuck on something. Hold on, I'll try it again. Okay. So it looks like, like that. And then we work a double crochet in the same chain one space. So it's kind of like row two, it's just row two we were uh, working into the foundation chain instead of the row below. And then chain one. So we've done our first uh, repeat right here. And then we continue on to the next chain one space. So we work a double crochet in the chain one space and then triple crochet in the second skipped stitch from the row below. So that's one, two, three. So that's this middle one. And then double crochet and chain one. That's our second one. So we go again to the next chain one space, work a double crochet, and then treble crochet in the second or middle stitch from the row below. Double crochet in the same chain one space. And then chain one. So now we're at the end. And at the end of the row, we just work two double crochets in the top of our turning chain, just like we did for row two. So again, you don't have to work actually into the stitch. That's kind of annoying. Just work into the space. and then chain two and turn. And that's what your work looks like at the end of row three. And then we just continue work, repeating row three all the way down until you have a big chunk of material 